What's up everyone? This is Ton Ton here and today I'll be reviewing the MP39 Sun Streaker from the G1 cartoon. This is the box pimp and as you can see there's a Lamborghini logo on it, which proof that this is a, this is a licensed product. The size of the box is an image and Takara told me the back of the box instruction which is full of Japanese. Uh, he came out in car, car mode with uh, the form as a Lamborghini over there. Pretty nice the Lamborghini and uh, his accessories as well. We got his two alternate face, laughing and grunting face I think. And we have his uh, gun over here. I think this is the... Uh, oh, wait a second. It's kind of hard to take out with my hands. There we go. His flare guns. And this is his... Wait. Uh, here we go. Electron pulse gun, mini pi pistol, I think. And this is Chip Chase, a character from G1 in, in his wheelchair. And an alien mask from the G1 episode Attack of the Alien Robot. His manual is covered in a plastic bag. Let's check that out. And we have a rear mirror, spare one, in the case you lost this one over here. And a collective, collective card, I think. Yeah, all his numbers are here in Japanese, I don't care. And the manual, him, more Japanese, the pictures of him. Here we go, the guns, and the all the other features, and the transformation. 42 step of transformation over here. A lot of transformation. And his car mode is based on a Lamborghini car touch. Bright yellow sport car. The windscreen and the, all the glasses are like a clear blue material. This is, has a gold chrome coating over here. The windscreen wiper is fixed, cannot be moved. And this is the headlight section. See the piece here? You can push them up and reveal the headlights of the car, like so. And accurate features. And here come the doors. You can just open it up like this. Exactly like a Lamborghini in real life. Like they open that way. I'm pretty sure you know that. Here we see all the older robots part of it. Close it. And back here, this is a thruster. Thruster over here. But if you just open them like so and flip it down, you can see the back light of the car. Nice gimmick. It says the chrome coating. If you push them down, you can reveal there's an anti aircraft gun over here, like so. I think this is. This, this one is used to shoot star screen. Put it back like so. There's a name of the car over here. The low, the low you can see very, but like the pen is too thick. It's hard, really, really hard to see. It's a shame they did that. And he can transform this into an alternate mode of the car. Just flip this down. Unpack this too, rotate them like so. Open this piece up, open it like that. Bring this whole section up like so. Yeah. Flip this whole piece is open, and then we just wait a second. Like so, there's a hinge over here, so you just rotate it and as you can see, fix it into place okay, like that, and push it back down, push the closest pieces. Every, lock everything together and then rotate this 
thing, this piece over here. And here it has a look of more of a normal Lambo. And here's some comparison with his partner, Size Squide. As you can see, the color is different. Size Squide headlights cannot be pushed up, it's fixed over there like that. And he cannot open his door as well. He cannot open the Size Squide door. And here's some size comparison with Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, like a medium sized car. And here's the transformation of some trick of his robot mode. To see this pack over here, the two sides, pull them out like so. Open, bring this section down. And open up the door. Turn this over. That. Unpack the warm chrome part over here. Flip the section out. As you can see here, this is a hinge. That. Here's the arms. Bring them out like that. Here's the arms. Open this part up. Go extend the arms, make it longer, double jointed elbow, fix it into place, now we bring down the hands, hold this panel, that there's the tap, slot it there, this piece here, turn it over, and with one arm finish with the fingers on the hand. The second one. Open it up. Extend the arms. Close it. Like so. This one here, turn it 360. And then we have the arms, not with the legs, split open the car front, like that. And two tabs, lock it into place, we untap it. Bring it down, turn it, as you can see here. Now we turn this over, like so. There we go, bring the leg down, rotate it. That. that is the front side. Second one, rotate it. Rotate it again. Flip this panel down. Second one, flip it down. We want to hide the windows here, so we close it. We push it here, careful of the rear mirror, like that, close it, like that, done, second one, same, just push it in carefully, that's it, slot here for the rear mirror, lock it into place, like so, now for the feet, oh sorry, now we finish this, close this, this whole section here, close it and lock it to place, like so. Feet, bring the feet down, and the wheels, we're gonna make the heel of it, so pick up this piece, push it down, and slot it inside, like that. Then we go, lock one feet, bring it down, let this out. And then we fold it. Up. This piece right here, we move it down like so, so you've got space, and then lock into place. And now for the body section, we open these two pieces here, push this up, open the windshield, make more space, and try to rotate the back section. So, flip it open, 
and rotate this piece here 360. Flip down this panel. Also flip this panel down, and now we close for close the arm into the body. Oh, I forgot there's a peg over here on both sides. We need that to lock the arm section onto the bodies of the robot mode. Here as well, like so. Close it. Like that. Like that. And oh, there's a head as well. Sorry. So you just push this level up, and you got some stricter head. Close it down. The back section. So we actually we rotate this 360. And then, oh, sorry, it's, it's kind of hard to do with all these keyboards over here. Yeah, there we go. This thing here, we fold it, and close it to the thruster, the car, and we close this whole section here. Right, so, close it. There we go. Reposition the tail of the car. Like that. Like that. And clip on this to lock the back of the. This is the robot mode. And the head. And a very nice detail face. The rounded one. You can look up at left and right. 360 rotate due to the ball joint, look up, look down, like so, we're gonna change his face, just pop it out like that, there we go. These are the two alternate face, the grunting and the smiling face, just simply lock it in. This in. This is the angry face thing. Looking angry. I'm just gonna return to the normal face. The articulation of the arm, 360 spin. Move up like so. Yeah, this piece is really nice. It stays in place no matter what position you move up the arms in. Swivel here. Double jointed elbow. This piece is hollow, but it's fine. Arm swivel. Open up the fingers. Like so. Join at the fingers, close it. This is a flare gun, grey plastic, the same color as the face. More details on it, as you can see, the same color. There's a tab there, you just tap it onto the arm end. Like that. And it holds it very securely, like so. In the case you don't want that, there's a in the back, there's a tap, it's locked, and just tap it in, and you got you can store this gun on the back on it on its back. Now to this other gun, the mini one. Let's see, same with the big one. Just open up the arm, the hands, lock it in, like so. You have it. And this can be stored on his leg, hold it in like so. We open this up. Oh my bad, there's a uh, slot over there, tap it in. Try to close it, yeah, got that. Close.
and now for the leg articulation you can see the spread kick up front swivel here 360 the armor does get into the way I should have gone for a the bend the knee like so move up at the hips joint really good joint I'm gonna try to have him sit like so beautiful now we move the leg back just for the two feet got the tilt like that so we can cross his leg and stand very securely the hips and rotate 360 the arms are ratchet joints so they hold in very good this is him doing the cross arms poses and here's the base from the uh, attack of the robot alien thing from G1 I don't watch G1 really so we just put that in like so and we have a weird combination of organic mechanic thing and here's Chip Chase from G1 the character nice painting of the figure can't really see his face though and there's a wheelchair like that molded, molded in a grey plastic fix just put him in I wish there's a peg so we just like he can sit there securely but no he, he just sit there it's not secure at all and here's comparison with side swipe his partner over here side swipe has a broader body some stricter is taller a little bit taller not that much and if you notice the body the front section of the car is the same but then the uh, do the engineer it, it change and also since size why is an older masterpiece the articulation range is, li is more limited but some streaker with a bell engineering as you can see over here okay some size comparison with optimus prime and bumblebee turn them over and there's prime like that medium sized autobot and now i'm gonna transform him back to his car mode please let me know what you think of this figure and in the comment section below and i will reply you thanks a lot for watching and i hope to see you again in the next video so stay tuned goodbye